Hello, Cricketers, and welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. I warned you to get used to seeing these pictures because you will be seeing a lot of them. Well, today is no different. This is the picture that I sublimated on canvas, and what am I gonna say? I love it. So um, before we get into the tutorial, you know what I need you to do, the three things, the like, subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week without fail. This is the image that I printed earlier this year on Canvas. I did a little mini Canvas, and today I was able to use my Workforce 7820 um, printer that I converted to sublimation to print a 13 by 19 image and I was able to follow the same exact process that I followed previously. Some people hate it, some people love it, to um, cover this canvas, and I love the way that it turned out. The materials that I'll be using for this project include my Hippo Sublimation Ink, I'll use my Epson 7820 Workforce Printer, A Sub Sublimation Paper, the 13 by 19 size, I use my staple gun. Um, I use two yards of, I use cut fabric that I purchased from Walmart. I use the Cricut brand of heat resistant tape, my 15 by 15 Starcraft clamshell heat press. And I did not in, start out thinking I was using this size canvas, but I ended up using a 12 by 16 uh, stretched canvas. I also used butcher paper that I'll leave down, linked down below and that is just about it, that's that's about it. Okay, so without further ado, let's head on over and let me show you my settings and how I got my image printed out. In order to get my image printed out, I went to Silhouette Studio, which I already have downloaded on my computer, and I um, went to File, and then I went to Merge, and I merged the photo that I planned to use, which was the um, image of my family. And the size that I want my image to be is 13 by 19. In order to do that, I have to set up my paper size. So I'm gonna click right here in the right. And for my machine, I'm going to choose none, cutting mat, none, media size, custom. The width is 13, the height is 19. And because my um, image is in a port a landscape mode, I chose landscape right here. And then I just stretched my image out to fit that. You can do it by just stretching it out right here, or you can just click on the image and change the settings. So I'm gonna change mine to 13. And then I'll unlock it and buy 19. Uh oh, undo that. 13, uh, I changed, let me change that 19 by 13. Sorry. And then just move it over to fit on top of the page. And then what I did was I clicked print. Okay and it's going to look like it's not printing the right thing and i'll click print again to get to my preferences once i get to my preferences i have this my 13 by 19 saved as super b and it's on auto select uh, my paper source paper source is auto select my document size is super b which is 13 by 19. i have print preview on and all of the regular, the other settings, the, uh, let me show you what they look like, premium presentation, paper mat. And if I go to more options and I click advanced, I'm on the Adobe RGB Gamma 2.2, and it's just on the regular color controls and um, color circle. I'll just click okay. And I'll, I want my uh, image to be mirrored, so I click okay here. And once I click print, it's going to show me a preview of what my printout will look like. Okay. And that's what I want it to look like. Let's see again, hopefully it's correct. It is not. So this is why I keep my print preview on because I can see that it, this is not what I want it to look like. So um, let me go back 
here and I'm not sure why it's not doing what I wanted to do, but the other option I can do for this is to click on the picture, click object, rotate, and then rotate it by 90 degrees and I can move it here and follow that same process again. I am not an expert in Silhouette Studio. I'm definitely still learning. So I kind of just play with it until I get it to where I want it and it works. So I'm going to click preferences again. Make sure it's on my um, Super B. Make sure I have a print preview. Click OK. Click print. Let me see what comes up. Hopefully it's right. Let's see. Yes, it is right. So then if since it's right and it's exactly the way I want it, I can click print. And since I already have mine printed, I'm not going to print it again. So I'm just going to click cancel. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like as it's being printed from the Epson Workforce 7820. Okay. I am in the process of printing my first big picture from my Epson 7820. And so far, so good. I'm printing 13 by 19 from Silhouette Studio. I'll speed this part up. Okay, so this is the printed image. And I'm impressed. I, it's, you know, I'm having to hold it with two hands. So far, so good. It's not bright and vivid yet, of course, because, you know, it has let that heat hit it. Um, but so far, so good. So now I'm going to put it under my heat press. I have my image on my heat plate. I am going to just let, let the um, heat plate hover over it, the picture for a few seconds just to make sure all of my ink is dry. And when I looked at the image, when it came from the printer, I could see that, you know, the ink was still wet. Okay, move it a little bit, let it dry on this side. I am very impressed with this printer and I'm thankful that I've got it. I'm very thankful, I'm excited. Okay. Now I'm going to just move my, let it dry a little bit more on this side. I will just move it over to the side for a little bit till I decide what I'm going to put it on. I am going to stick with the fabric method, which is covering the canvas with the fabric. So I'm going to use this size canvas because this is bigger than the photo that I printed out. So I'm going to cover this whole canvas with fabric. Okay, so what I'm doing now is just cutting a big enough piece of fabric to cover the canvas. So I just put the canvas down in the middle. And this is the same fabric that I used in my previous tutorial where I covered um, canvas with polyester fabric. Some people hated that idea. Some people love that idea. I love the idea, so I'm going to do it again. If you hate the idea, don't do it. Do what works for you. Okay, so now that I have this cut, I will get my big picture, my 13 by 19, sublimated onto this fabric, and then I will cover the canvas with the fabric. Adding some heat to my fabric before I add the picture to it. Add a little bit of heat, a few seconds, straightening it out, warming it up. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now I will put the fabric down. It seems like it shrinks it a little bit. And that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Now, I will put my picture down in the middle, as much of the middle as I can get. And 
I will get my picture taped down using my Cricut heat resistant tape. Now, hopefully I don't get a lot of ghosting. Um, I've never sublimated anything this big ever. Um, so this will be a first and guess what we will be doing? Learning together. So let me make sure I'm pulling it tight so we don't have any wrinkles in there. And I found that this was going to be the best way to get this um, canvas covered. And I hope that it works out well. I've never sublimated anything this big. And I hope it works out. Hopefully this works out. I know I need to be careful about the wrinkles and I'm very worried about that because I haven't sublimated anything this big before. And if I make a mistake, you know, I'll learn and you will learn and you'll be better for it. Um, and I don't do test products before I start my videos. I we learn together. So I am going to put some butcher paper on top. I already have some that is um, already torn. I'm ready to go. For now, here it goes nothing. 400 degrees, 60 seconds. All right. Um, I realized that I did not put a piece of butcher paper on the bottom, so let me do that. Okay, so now for the reveal. Ooh. 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 Ooh, 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 I love it. Now it's time to just get it stapled on this canvas. And that is the last and final step. So I've decided to use a 12 by 16 canvas. I think it'll be better suited for this picture. So I'm gonna just get started with stapling the fabric around the canvas, the same way I did with the smaller canvas, okay? So I'll speed this part up. So this is the finished product. And what am I gonna say? I love it. I told you to get used to these pictures because you will be seeing a lot more of them. And trust me, this is not even the tip of the iceberg. If you are able to follow along with this process and you found this video helpful for you and you are considering making a large canvas with your family photo go ahead and do the three things hit the like subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week without fail thank you so much for joining me today and thanks for watching bye